purpose of what we're doing today is to show you how to set your camera with a manual exposure mode. It's a very important mode to learn and more important than that is to learn how to use it. What do you set on your camera and how do you read those settings to make sure you get a good exposure, that is so your picture is not too dark or not too bright. First thing we need to do is to look at the top of the camera and find the M. And on that, we will be setting the camera to the manual exposure mode. That's what that M is for. It's also important to know a couple of the other controls right from the start. And you're going to have to consult your own camera's manual to understand this completely. But most cameras, most digital SLRs now, have a dial that adjusts the shutter for your camera's exposure. And they also have another button. When you press that and dial the same dial, that adjusts your aperture. Again, refer to your owner's instructions to find out which buttons and which dials to push for this. Before we take our exposure reading, before we use manual exposure, you need to compose your scene. That is, point your camera at what you're going to be taking a picture of and zoom in or zoom out until the picture is exactly where you want everything to be in that photograph. After that, we can use the exposure indicators to tell us if we have too much or too little light. We want to have it so the photograph is not too bright or too dark. When I adjust the shutter speed, you can see it in the top section here. Those are fractions of a second, and as I adjust it, the indicators either go to the left of the zero or to the right of the zero. If it goes to the right, it's too dark. If they go to the left, it's too bright. We want it to stop right in the middle. Some cameras will just have one line that moves back and forth, but it's the same thing. You want to zero it out until it's not too bright or too dark. Once we get that, we'll take our picture and the scene will show up in the preview. If we go back to this, you might be asking yourself, where do I start? Well, I'm on a tripod, so I don't need to worry about shaking the picture with my shutter speed. I'm going to set the aperture to a small aperture, and then I'm going to adjust the shutter to zero it out. And you can see I've got a fifth of a second at f29. This will give me great depth of field, and because I'm on the tripod, I won't have to worry about camera shape. And I can take the picture, and the exposure is the same, and everything's great. Okay, everybody, I'd like to add one more thing. If you look at this slide that we have, it shows a simulation of the inside of a viewfinder. In the red box, you can see the exposure indicators, which are similar to the exposure indicators we looked at on the back of the camera. Just like those indicators, it's a zeroing price process. You try to get the little lines to end up at the zero, and that's what gives you the good exposure. Now, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to ask me. Or if you look down in the corner here, you'll see a little couple of lines. You can pause this video, drag the slider back, and watch it again. Thank you.